Good morning, children. My name is Sri Vidya, school assistant, social anthropology, HS, K. Samitram, station. K. Samitram, and the Mamba district. Now, today, I am going to teach 10th class, 16th chapter, direction, process of India. Okay. India has an enormous population. Enormous means heavy or large population. It is never possible to all the people to gather and take decisions. Okay. So, the need for the elections arise. Since independence, the strong basis of democratic values lead by elections. The election commission of India conduct elections in our country. It will frame code of conduct to the political parties and declare the results of elections. And the results submit central and state government authority council by this process it is become very easy to form the government okay now we discuss the election commission of india the election commission of india came into existence on 25th january 1950 this is a autonomous body of constitution autonomous means it is independent, not controlled by others or outside forces. Okay. With its authority, the election commission prepare electoral rules and conduct the elections. Lok Sabha, Raj Sabha, state legislative bodies, president and vice president elections also. Here we can see the election commission logo. The election commission of India headquarters located in New Delhi. Okay. On 25th January 2010, completion of the 60 years. So the election commission celebrated diamond Jubilee and it announced on 25th January 2011 as first voters day. Okay, since 2011 we are celebrated every year on 25th January is voters day. Okay, now, now we discuss autonomous status for election commission. Okay. It is never possible. Okay. It is very difficult also. Conduct elections in India because of a few population. When we rule by Britishers, only 14% of population have right to vote in election. After independence, we conduct the general elections 19 52. Okay. There were 17.32 crores of people have right to vote. And now at present, the voters become 67 crores. Okay. As such country, the election commission conducted the elections with the help of 45 lakhs staff. Okay, 45 lakhs stop. The Central Election Commission has no particular staff to conduct elections. Okay, has for 324-6 article in the Constitution with the permission of President or Governor of State. It is utilized the central and state employees service. Okay. Yeah, on such the time, election time, the election commission of India uh, have 
complete control over the government staff without prior permission of central election commission the government staff neither be transfer or nor be promotion okay then we discuss the chief election commissioner okay the chief election commissioner head of the election commissioner india now at present the sunil arora election chief election commissioner okay the constitution gives certain powers to the election chief election commissioner to conduct the elections central and state legislatures right now fair and smooth manner okay the chief election commissioner from indian civic services and he and she tenure six years or up to 65 years whichever early six years or up to 65 years earlier the election commission of india had only one chief election commissioner okay after uh, the three member commission came into existence 1993 one chief election commissioner and two other chief election uh, commissioners okay there is no difference between uh, the chief election commissioner and the other election commissioners no their salaries or designations and power to con- consult okay usually the deci- decisions are taken unanimously or majority of vote okay our indian political system the election commission of india play major role the tn session tirunallai narayan session 1992 to 1996 comes into the office the election commission of india have considerable power like okay he took much more initiation for the eradication of corruption in indian elections okay. there was nationwide recognition of the powers of election commission the tn session gave some recommendations to election commission also and next we discuss functions of election commission okay article 324 part 50 of the constitution gave some powers to the election commission to conduct the elections okay the functions of election commission first one is the administrative functions second one is the advisory functions and third one is quasi judicial functions okay first one administrative functions under these functions the election commission of india prepared electoral rules and the markation of constituencies of their territorial limits as per the limitation commission okay and it announces the schedule of elections receives the nominations and scrutinizes after the election commission finalizes the polling dates okay and um, the election commission recognizes the political parties and gave symbols also and it frame and implement the code of conduct okay 
for a country to be followed by the political parties during elections. Okay, and the uh, election commission of India appointed the observer officers to observe the election man practice. Okay, these are came into administrative functions of the election commission of India. Okay, next, second one is advisory functions. The election commission of India advises President and Governor of the States regarding the disqualifications of representative to the Parliament of State Legislatures. Okay. And next, quasi judicial functions. The Election Commission of India solve the disputes between political parties. Okay. In that time, the Election Commission of India act like a quasi judicial. Okay. Now, I want to give some work. Okay, children. Collect the information of other autonomous bodies of India. Once again, I will tell you the question. Collect the information other autonomous bodies of India. Okay. Okay, children. Next class, we will discuss another topic of this lesson. Okay, thank you.